Hey guys, welcome back to another monthly grocery haul. This month's grocery haul, I'm starting off at BJ's. I just needed a few things. This is everything that I grabbed. I grabbed a pack of the croissants. This was, I think, like $8. I don't remember all of the prices, but if I remember, I'll let you know. $8 for the croissants. Then I grabbed two of these Thomas bagels. These um, have a clipless coupon, I think, for a dollar each so instead of it being four dollars they were three dollars i grabbed two of those i don't know why they have this price this price is definitely wrong i got a pack of a i got a carton of the wesley found their half and half i grabbed a three pack of the heinz ketchup i literally just used my my <laughs> my backup ketchup like a few days ago i wanted to make sure i'm stocked grab some bananas then in my last haul you would have seen that i got the popcorners but i got the cheddar cheese this this the kessel corn is actually my husband's favorite this one is like number two for me so since we got the cheddar the last time i still have a f um some of that one left we got the kettle corn this time around the last time i grabbed the small packs of the this is a pirate booty i grabbed the small packs the last time i just went ahead and got the big bag because the small packs i could just throw them in my bag take them to work this one i can just throw it out in a bowl when i'm at home and i love pirate booty grabbed one of those the final item that i grabbed or oh, actually not the final item the second to last item that i grabbed are these french toast sticks i love french toast this is a bj's brand it came in a box with two bags i'm sharing it with my brother so i took my my bag and he has the other one i wanted to buy this the last time that i went to bj's and then i convinced myself not to get it this time around i'm like i am getting it so i grabbed that the final item that i got was a 40 pack of the bj's water I have not gotten that probably in well over two years maybe second trip to bj as well <laughs> not my second trip my dad and brother were going i just gave them my list and they brought back everything for me i please excuse how nasally i sound as you can guess i have a cold <laughs> so i stayed in today i got the a pack of these outshine fruit bars i love these and these are the flavors the strawberry tangerine raspberry and no sugar added so 36 bars and yeah i needed some of this orange juice i grabbed another one of the bj's brand and this is less than six dollars i think it's 5.99 or 5.49 i decided to grab a container of the ice cream i've never gotten the ice cream but honestly i did not realize it was this huge i was thinking it was the size of like your hagen -Dazs. but this is good and this was only five dollars so a half gallon i just got the well they just got me the vanilla i got pomegranate juice in my last haul i purchased this at stop and shop and i think it was like twelve dollars at bj's it was 8.99 i think this is new because i don't remember ever seeing this there um, but I saw it on the app, so I told him to grab one for me, $8.99. We switched up our coffee creamer this time around. Got the International Delight, the Caramel Macchiato. And this, I got this because I saw a coupon on this site. And it just looks good. So it's a, I think it's a steak and cheese wrap. It looks very much like, a, I think it's Stromboli. Um, eight servings, so eight of them. And I had two dollars off. I don't remember how much was the original price, but I had two dollars off in the app. Grabbed one of those. There was a coupon for my favorite pasta sauce, the bit totally. Grabbed the three pack. I think I had like maybe a one fifty off. This time around, we grabbed the BJ's brand of bagels. These are four forty nine. Just got two packs. I'm like, cheese. They left these in really long because they're really tight but yeah their bagels are usually good they also grabbed a pack of the popcorners so this is the kettle corn i think you would have seen the clip previous clips we got one it's all gone <laughs> um i still have the some of the one the blue pack that i purchased i think in my february haul but the red one is gone and i had to grab another pack of my pirate booty this is the 18 ounce bag i in my february haul i had like the smaller packets i still have a few of those but the big bag is gone <laughs> so grabbed another one of those 
the final food item we got was a pack a 24 pack of these moths apple juice this is just to keep on hand i'm sure this is going to last a lifetime in my house then for the non-food items i usually grab the bj's brand of their garbage bags i still have some on one roll but since i don't know when i'm going back to bj's i didn't want to risk it and the one that i have would you believe is from august of last year and i still have some left that's how long it lasted us so grabbed another pack of those and sometimes when i go they don't have it so i'm like let me grab it because i don't want to run out and then i can't find it final non-food item i grabbed is the lifestyle laundry sanitizer i usually get this when bj's when they have um coupons so i had i think a 150 and a three dollars or a 250 off in the app i'm hoping both of them came off but yeah i grabbed this this is maybe almost 19 dollars I have a few of like the smaller bottles so i'm just going to use this to like refill the smaller bottles and those are all of the items that we grabbed from bj's please excuse how nasally i sound so trying to get over this call <laughs> but we're moving i have to do a return at target and i'm the type of person if i am doing a return or in a particular area i am trying to hit every store that <laughs> that i want um to get something from so i made my list and went into Target. The first thing on my list was actually cheese. I grabbed this 12 pack of um, the Kobe Jack sliced cheese. This was uh, $2.69. Then I saw these. Normally I am a like cheese in crackers type of girl, but they only had the peanut butter. And as you can see, one is missing. So it came with eight packs um, because I was shopping right hungry. So I ate one um, after I left once i left target i ate a pack and it's actually pretty good so I, I would definitely grab this again this was as i said 1.99 and you know this is the target brand they actually didn't even have the cheese one which i was like okay but i guess that was good so because that's what i probably would have picked up i grabbed two of the sparkling ice drinks so i got the orange mango and the lemon lime these were 99 cents each i also wanted to get some cones but they only had the sugar cone and i just wanted like the plain old waffle cone this time around so i got these waffle bowls instead and these were actually not bad 249 i grabbed a box of that and the one non food item i got is this pure zero um, conditioner usually when they have this deal i try to grab it um and this the tea tree and matcha is the cheapest one so this was 5.99 i had 40 percent off that brought it down to 3.59 and then i had a two dollar off so i only paid a dollar and 59 cents for this i bought it before i still haven't tried it but i decided to grab it again now this this purchase was because i saw an ad so i saw an ad last night for oreos and i was like oh oreos so I was going to, um, since I was going to Target, of course, I checked the price and they had 10% off Oreo. So I was going to get like the regular size one. Those were $4.99, but then I saw that they had the family size. So the family size was actually on sale $2.48, but you had to buy two basically to get it for $4 each. And I still got the 10% off. So I paid only $3.60 per pack. So of course I bought two. Yeah, we're going to have this for a while. Stop and Shop is in the same area as the Targets. So of course, I went in. I'll show you what I went for and then everything that I got. The first, well, the main reason that I went there is I wanted to get some of the unsweetened cocoa because I am all out. Usually, I grab it from Trader Joe, but I haven't been to Trader Joe all year, actually. And I don't know when I'm going to go to another one. So I grabbed it and this was on sale for $3.89, which was actually cheaper than the store brand. Got the Hershey's version this ice cream i usually browse the app to see like what coupons they have and i saw that they had a coupon for this noosa ice cream and this is a new flavor at least to my supermarket because i think the last time i bought this there were only like two or three flavors i got the cookies and also creamy and let me see i got this because like, it was on sale for 350 i believe let me see 
yes so it was on sale for $3.50 and then I had $2 off one. And while I was there, as you can hear how I sound, I got some cough drops. I have some cough drops, but it's like a fruity flavor. So I wanted the menthol one. Grab one of those. Then this week at um, Stop and Shop, the um, General Mills cereals are $1.99 each, which is like an excellent price. And if you purchase, I think if you got like one... If you bought one of them, you were getting 50 points, which is like 50 cents in like store points. Um, and then I think, yeah, so 50 cents, you can redeem. I think the least amount that you can redeem is a dollar. So I was like, yeah, let me grab it. And then I love Cheerios. $1.99 is like the perfect price for me. I got a Honey Nut Cheerios. Love Honey Nut Cheerios. And I also got the multi Green. And since I was there, I saw... <laughs> Cocoa Puffs. I love Cocoa Puffs. And one thing to note, most of my cereals, I eat them as a snack dry, usually not with milk. So Cocoa Puffs is a cereal. I'll just put some in a bowl and eat it dry. So since I got the Cocoa Puffs for myself, so the Cocoa Puffs for myself, I saw this on the app, um, but it said it wasn't in stock. So I was very happy to see it there. <laughs> my husband loves Reese's the candy i'm not really a fan so i figured i'll get um pick this up so he can try the cereal he would probably be like why did you buy this thing but you know i'm like why not try the reese's puff cereal the nature valley nature valley um bars were also 199 so i grabbed two of those this one i have been seeing uh, like for the past couple months and i'm always tempted to purchase it and i always thought myself out of it but today i was like no i am grabbing it so i grabbed this this is the crunchy dip so it's basically granola bar where one um side has chocolate this looks so good and then i saw this one i don't know how new this is but i've never seen the apple crisp it just sounds really good so i grabbed both of them they were 1.99 each but i had a one dollar off one which would make one of them 99 cents and then i had a 50 cents off two so i actually both coupons came off so i got 150 off i paid four dollars so four dollars for both of them 150 off so i paid 250 125 each um excited to give these a try then the Pillsbury uh, cake mix was on sale for $1.25 and that's basically just the cheapest that I have seen it. Um, so I grabbed this. I just grabbed the chocolate. The final item that I got, um, and no, this is not like the best deal just because my coupon did not come off. But again, I was browsing the app and I saw a coupon for $1.50 off of um the mccain fries the quick cook fries so i grabbed this one and it was on sale for four dollars i think there was a 150 off yeah 150 off um but it did not come off so had it come off it would have been um 250 if the coupon came off um, i'm thinking maybe i will call customer service because i hate when that happens and i just didn't feel like going to the customer service booth because normally if you show them you know that like you have it clipped they'll give you the dollar amount that did not come off but i do not have the energy to do that so i am going to give them a call so when the um the coupon comes off i think this is a decent price um i think the original price is 4.79 so with the coupon i think it's a decent price paying four dollars i didn't want to pay four dollars um, but what can i say hopefully i get my 150 um back in points but yeah that's everything that i got from stop and shop i didn't really need a lot i just of course grabbed what i went there for which is the hershey's unsweetened chocolate and then i got everything else made a quick trip to my vegetable store and if you hear my voice again you know still battling this cold and one of the owners when we were looking through some strawberries he actually told us that he was bringing out a new batch so i'm so happy that he um he told us that because these looked a lot better than the ones that they had we bought four four containers as you can see these things are huge look at these look at how large this thing is I am hoping that they're nice and sweet. Looking forward to devouring these. So we grabbed four of these. These were 
two ninety nine to three dollars. I thought they were one forty nine per pound, but the lady who cashed them, she charged me ninety nine cents a pound. I was not complaining. Grab some corn, corn. On the top, these were two for a dollar. I just grabbed four because they don't look like they're very sweet, so I just grabbed four of these. Needed some more broccoli. Grabbed two heads. These were one forty nine per bag. Scallions a bag, two for a dollar. Grab two of those, and you hear my voice. You know I need all the vitamins see I can get. So I got nine oranges. These were three for two dollars. I was hoping to get some plums, but the ones they had there did not look the greatest. Yeah. That's everything that I grabbed at my vegetable store. I also wanted to get some mandarins, but I forgot to go back to my other vegetable store because their mandarins look better. But maybe I'll grab them tomorrow. Grab some blueberries. These were two dollars per container. Finally got my mandarins. These were three for two. So I got nine of them. Y'all, I went to my spot. I have not been to Trader Joe's. I know I definitely haven't been there all year, and I don't even remember when last year. I I stopped by. I was in the area. I wanted to go in, so I got if this um bag of paratha they can they it has five of them i only paid this was only 229 which was good i grabbed one pack of my nan this is now 269 and i saw somebody's video i think earlier this week or last week and they had this pizza bread um I, so i decided to grab this as well this was only 199 got a bag of the unsalted dry toasted sliced almonds got my pizza chips i got three i decided to get three bags and now i'm thinking oh, i should have gotten another one <laughs> i grabbed a bag of their plain bagels one pack of these turkey burgers these are 379 haven't gotten these organic mushrooms in a long time so i grabbed one of those and I got a pack of their organic garlic. These I like. This um, salty peanut protein bar. This is really good as well. And then the final thing that I grabbed. I got a uh, block of their Parmesan cheese. And this is how much? This was $6.79. $7.99 a pound. I had so more things that I wanted to grab, but the weight I could not carry it. So I just grabbed these items from Trip. I made a quick trip to my local supermarket because I am making the Trader Joe turkey burgers tonight. I wanted to get some lettuce. So I grabbed this head of um, lettuce. This was $1.79. I went for two items, and as you can see. I definitely have more than two. I got a pack of this double cheddar cheese slices. I have been out of my Milo, I think, since last year. So I grabbed another one. This was $4.99. Got some orange juice. We love pulp. So we grabbed two of those. Then I got two of these salsa waters. I just got a lime, a wild cherry. I grabbed these tostones, these ripe tostones, because I haven't had um sweet planted chips in a while but mm, these were not the greatest so i probably would not pick this up again got some ovaltine cookies i have not had these in so long i love this some fine cornmeal grabbed one pack of these cornflakes and they had these chicken vienna sausages for 99 cents each i just grabbed four of them and that's everything for this grocery haul thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next one